thanks for joining me back at the repair depot guys I finished uh, stripping the paint off of the filler neck I made uh, new gaskets underneath the filler cap um, I made a new mount block and there's that hold down strap that I painted. I have to install the uh, breather fitting. And here's the rubber hose to join the end of the filler neck. Oh, it's dark under here. With the top of the fuel tank, the inlet of the fuel tank. So, let's get to work. a lot better than I thought it would. I'm just going to tighten these holes clamps a bit. Best part about this is now I can fill the tank with fuel. I guess I should have done that first. Okay. No problem. days so I'm kind of fumble fingers at the minute thing it's that tight it's gonna make a good seal so I thought that I could get the socket in there but no so I'll just have to use the old three quarter inch wrench enough I don't want to go too tight because I don't want to crack the cast steel fitting the brass will this brass fitting will it 
it'll fit to a point and then it'll it won't uh, compress anymore and it'll crack the fitting so that's that's tight enough okay let's uh, let's put the the rubber connector back on the fill neck and I'll tighten this down Filler neck again. Okay. Wow, that looks good. figure out where to put you guys so that you can see the block being installed. I just got a break in the rain for a bit here. That's gonna fall. Maybe not. It's not moving. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do about tires for the other trailer that I found. And uh, I saw a video another YouTuber uh, who flat out said you can weld on the the ring that holds that holds the um, tire to the wheel and that's that's just outright bad information. The internal temperature of the tubes and inside the tire can spike to above 700, uh, 700 degrees Fahrenheit in like an instant. That's a conundrum. We're gonna have to come from the other side. Okay. Washer. Lock washer. Wow. That's pretty cool. All right, let's tighten it down. Oh, don't fall. Okay.
okay. So that worked out really well. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. There's the filler neck. So. so I made a new cork gasket. And then this, that little clip right there that's hanging down is for a chain. And then inside here, there's a ring with a little loop in it. So that, uh, so it's like a tether that holds the filler neck to the cap, or sorry, the, the gas cap to the filler neck, so you don't lose it. But, That's it for now. It fits fits really well. Uh, I am gonna make a cork gasket for here, uh, but that'll be a little bit later. It would have been a little too fumbly at this time. And then the other thing I need to do is connect the breather hose here. To here and uh, that's gonna be a little fumbly too so uh, I'm gonna let that go and maybe make another video some other time but as always thanks for tuning in thanks for watching have a great day later